schools and the coronavirus. Yes, schools are closed down and it looks like it's gonna be a little bit longer here. Are the children home and you're not sure what to be able to do and running out of ideas? May have the answer for you. John Wenner with Moving AZ Homes channel here on YouTube. I wanna send a special shout out to those in the subscriber community. Thank you for taking a part of your day to be here. You know, if you're not part of the community, just click on that little red subscriber button. It's free and you'll never miss another episode. In this video, you know, I know the children are home and not spring break. We just don't know how long the schools are gonna be closed and maybe trying to find other things to do or to keep the children busy or trying to help explain what's going on and all that. You know, I've got three grown children and seven grandchildren, and I know I'm always looking for things and trying to help and describe and explain to the kids, you know, what's going on and, and how to keep them busy. Even if they're not in, on spring break and they're just coming to visit, especially the grandchildren, it's like, what do you do and how do you always do and all that? I've put together a list of seven different things, uh, categories to be able to help in this time right now. So the first one is just kind of describing a little bit about social distancing and helping the kids and, and just kind of brief on that. The second one is just talking about kids. You know, that's something I've learned is, is raising our kids and even seeing with the grandchildren, they need some structure and I'm able to help them throughout that day. Um, and maybe you've, you've already looked up some things and maybe this would just be a review for you. So it's just a, you know, come to, to try to help the kids throughout that day, con constantly keep them moving and doing that. The third one is, is, you know, to celebrate wins. And, and as big thing as that, you know, it's kind of one of those things, as a parent with our children growing up, you know, we try to celebrate as much as possible. And, and I've learned more now as a grandfather uh, and helping our, our you know, children in celebrating. So if, you know, if they're doing something at home and they do it, celebrate that. And these are some ideas on how you can be able to do that. The fourth one is for older children you know, to be able to have activities. And, and then the fifth one is activities for the younger children. You know, what I've got in these documents on each, in these sections on each one of those categories are links to different um, websites that you can go to and get some information and or like the activities, whether it's a zoo, a virtual tour of a zoo and be able to see animals. Um, it helps kids that keep a little bit, you know, entertained with some of the virtual aspects. And then number six, about educational resources, even you know because they're not in school, just to keep that going and keep them fresh in their mind uh, and, and activities. That you and then the seventh one is about meals, you know, different aspects of meals. You know, my wife, she went to culinary school, so I'm very fortunate, but being able to, she's got just tons of cookbooks and looking at, you know, crock pot ideas. They did one yesterday, took a chicken, threw it in the crock pot. Oh my gosh, the house smells so good at the end of the day. And now not only, you know, how many meals are going to come out of that whole chicken that she threw in the crock pot and have any ideas. This whole document free, just follow that link below. I do have a lot of other videos that we do because, you know, uh, being in real estate for 25 plus years. So I hope you enjoy the information. If you do, subscribe on that, that uh, by hitting on that little red button and then that way you won't ever miss the episodes.